Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's the Big Ocean, and I am here to do a reading for my Scorpios, my Schizopos, my Schizopos. All right, so this is for any Scorpio placement, but remember, this is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. If it sticks a little bit, it sticks a little bit. This could also be the energy for people that's around you, surrounding you, your friends and family, coworkers, and all of that good stuff. Also, keep in mind that if you want something that's going to have a 95% chance of sticking with you and making sense about your life, you can go ahead and book that personal reading with the link below in the description. But until then, we're going to go ahead and do this right now. And I'm going to be using my Mystic Martian Oracle deck. Okay, you guys? I still haven't got me a stand for my, camp, for my phone to record. You know, I got to get these viewers up and everything before I can just really just invest, invest like that to get like a camera and stuff. But you know how to set up though. You know, I'm starting from the bottom and I'll be there soon. All right, so we're gonna pull these cards. What's going on with my Scorpios? I don't know. All right, so we have the Vesica Pisces. I don't know, I probably said that all wrong. My bad job. It's Divine Feminine Birthing Fertility. You have the air element, which is philosophy, discrimination, and empathy. And you have the star seed, which is self-memories and identity. Okay. You have the number 39, 25, and 37. 9, 10, 11, 12 comes down to the base number of 3. 5, 6, 7, base number 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, base number 1. Okay. So we have three, seven, one. So your angel number to look up at the end of this reading is number 371. Make sure you come back and let me know if that resonates with you at all. So what I'm definitely getting from here right now, you guys are exploring your feminine and masculine energy and you're bringing those two together to open up, like your worlds are colliding and it's like you're opening up your third eye okay you guys are working with your higher self you're working with your spirits you're working with somebody okay and you're finding your true identity you are finding who you are yourself and that is all what this is about you guys are free floating right now all right and that's just what i get off the cards before i pull so we're going to pull for this first card, Vesica Pasisi. I feel like that's how I'm supposed to say it, but whatever. All right, so why is this card here? The Vesica Pasisi. Y'all, please, like, give me a way to say it in the, in the bottom. <laughs> All right. So, you do have the star card here, Scorpio, and then you have the Knight of Cups, and you also have the Empress in reverse. All right, so you guys are having to, I feel like you are training yourself right now in order to allow yourself to be filled up. Okay, with this Knight of Cups and the Star card draining the energy, I definitely feel like you feel drained. And it's just like you're releasing anything else that is just like bringing you down. And um, I feel like you're about to be rejuvenated because something is like you're emptying yourself out to allow yourself to be poured in with something fresh. Just think of it as uh, you have water sitting in a cup that's been sitting on your counter all day. You know, it's been sitting there for days and days and weeks and weeks, Scorpio. You're not going to go and pick up that water and drink it. It's been contaminated. It has dust particles. It might have a bug in there. There's no telling what's in that water. Most likely, you're going to dump it out, and you're probably going to get you a new cup, and you are going to get you some fresh bottled water or some fresh water out the fridge. And that is exactly what's going on with you guys right now. Okay, you are being rejuvenated with your divine counterparts and energies right now. All right, so it's just like you're becoming one with yourself. You're finding out your own energy exchange. You're finding out your own identity, your own worth. Okay, it's just like you're knowing, it's like you're finding the balance and being strong and being 
a little bit uh, vulnerable at the same time, Scorpio. All right, with this Empress in reverse, I definitely feel like you're getting out of a place of being stale, okay? And you're getting ready to be repositioned to give birth to yourself. Right now, you're being fertilized is the best way that I could put it. You're being fertilized right now and getting becoming prepared for this new you to give birth to this new you, this new mindset that you have coming into play. Yes, with the two of swords in reverse, you guys are not compromising any longer with who you are. You are about to become bold and strong, okay? There is no decisions that need to be made. There is no unsureness with you guys. You guys know exactly who you are, Scorpio, and that is what this is all about. You guys are done trying to figure out things, uh, figure out yourself, figure out those around you. You are getting a lot of clarity, okay? You are becoming very, very divine in your energy. You are becoming very aware of yourself and the energy that you possess, okay? So what is the air element here for my Scorpio? Mm. All right, so we do have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. It's philosophy, discrimination, and empathy. And you have the Four of Pentacles with the lovers in reverse, with the Two of Wands in reverse. Definitely feel like... <laughs> I need some clarity on this Four of Pentacles. Definitely need some clarity on this Four of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, entering. Yes, y'all are about to go into a journey of, it's just like disconnection maybe. Um, it's like you guys are looking back because it's just like you're scared to go on this journey. And I'm not gonna lie, this journey is gonna eat your ass up. It's gonna actually kind of leave you trained. I can see you guys becoming detached to certain things that you once loved, okay? And with this Two of Wands, this is like, what is this Two of Wands here for? The King of Cups. All right, it's just like, I just feel you guys feeling royal at this moment, okay? Um, you're feeling royal. I do feel like you guys are pampering yourself, getting pedicures, loving on yourself. Uh, you're seeing what you bring to the table. You're seeing what all you hold and you possess, all right? With the Seven of Pentacles, I do see you guys making... I feel like you guys are trying to, like, rejuvenate. It's not necessarily rejuvenate, but it's just like you have a, con it's like you have the growth there. And I feel like you guys are still, like, even though you're drained and things like that, and um, you feel misunderstood, and it's just like you're looking back before you go through this hill, and you're hoping that people notice, like, that you're going through these changes or that you're about to go through some things to, like, better yourselves. And it's just like kind of emotionally trained right now, Scorpio, but you're still trying to, to find that little bit of light that's like a hope for you that continues to push you through. I do, I definitely feel like you guys are free floating right now in the air. Like you're just kind of waiting for signs and things to come out and kind of assist you in life when it comes to this. But it's okay. You guys are about to move forward and get everything that you that you deserve. Okay, like you, it's like you guys are y'all are moving forward. It's just like you're gonna get that healing and move forward. For a lot of you guys, I definitely get the energy that you were expecting somebody that you rode for so hard to understand what you were going through to show some kind of empathy towards you guys. I feel like this was a connection that you had with an individual. And unfortunately, they did it and it seemed like time ran out. This person could kind of be like dead to you or disconnecting themselves from you. 
and maybe that's you uh, trying to still create something from this tree that y'all grew together, like the bond, the roots that you have, but it's just like something is disconnected, something is not there, some emotion isn't there anymore, okay, so it's just like there's a lack of empathy, and you guys are really just trying to figure out like why or what's going on, like I said, you guys are kind of free floating right now, you're needing some guidance in this situation. Now, let's see, why is the star seed here? Which is the self memories and identity for the Scorpios. Why is the star seed here? Oh, two cards pulled out. All right, so we got the magician and we also have the death card. I think I called that the empress card earlier in another video. But you have the magician and the empress, I'm sorry, and the, and the death card with the King of Wands. So a lot of you guys are trying to connect spiritually with some with some family members, could be some parents, okay? To, I guess, like kind of ignite some kind of passion, ignite some kind of fire, or to, I guess, kind of uplift you and give you some kind of guidance. That's what you could be seeking. You're just looking for signs from those around you. With the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck, I definitely feel like, um, you know, you're getting ready to set up a connection with these individuals that you're looking to connect with. It's just like you're getting ready to set up some kind of stability for yourself, okay? Like, you're, you're getting ready to find, like, you're finally coming to an end point. Okay, so it's just like you've been roaming around trying to find out where you want to set up, where you want to settle down, where you want to build. And it's just like you're going to receive all this confirmation. It's going to come in for you guys with the Starseed card and the Ten of Wands. I definitely feel like there's a connection that's going to come from a family member that has passed on. This definitely could be like a, a mother, but I do see like a great awakening coming. And it's just like you're finally getting to the point where you can kind of allow your burdens and all the stress and everything that you went through to help build your stability and build your ground and rebuild yourself up, rebuild where you want to be. Okay, you'll also be able to become very, very, you know, on the front line, secure. I do feel like you're going to be better positioned and I do feel like you're going to be looking good as well as you're going through these things, as you're getting these answers that you need. You're definitely going to be looking good while, you know, these changes are presenting themselves. I feel like you're going to be looking more confident. People are going to be looking up to you. People can be reaching out to you and the world is yours. Okay. You're going to be granted that. Okay. There's definitely some change coming in, good luck coming in. I definitely feel like you guys are going to be shedding um, shedding your old self and becoming something new, all right? With the Eight of Cups, you're definitely walking away from something, okay? And you're definitely walking away from an old mindset, old, the way you used to handle things, old, old heartache, okay? Trying to save people, um you know, not knowing what you want to do to gain finances, feeling victimized, feeling cut off or whatever it is, even feeling like you can't connect with those or your intuition or your your ancestors or your spirits or feeling like your prayers aren't being answered. All of that is about to come. You're going to find the balance between you. You're not going to, you're realizing that you don't always have to be a good person, that you know when it's time for you to put your tough skin on and step on some necks. Okay, that's the energy that I'm getting. All right, so right now y'all might just be in the hermit season and people might think you're out hiding, but really you guys are just reflecting, releasing, and gaining your identity in this moment. And with this rainbow in this card right here, I feel like you guys are going to be releasing like a lot of creativity is going to be coming, a lot of fulfillment, a lot of abundance, a lot of like knowledge is going to be received as well. All right, you guys, 
and you're no longer having to daydream about what it is that you want, you're going to know, you're going to feel, and you're going to be very, very passionate. And creativity is definitely going to come to you. You're going to be able to see the signs. You're going to be able to see your protections from the orbs and different things like that that's around you. All right, Scorpio, that is all that I have for you today. Uh, in the comments, let me know what you think of this reading. And don't forget to like and subscribe.